Have you ever wondered why water jets from your shower head break up into little droplets instead of staying in a straight continuous column? You can see this when you don't turn your shower head all the way off, and it's also the reason you hear your tap dripping instead of it remaining a solid jet. Any liquid system has some small perturbations. These perturbations will grow exponentially in unstable systems and result in deformations of the column. As a result, the stream will be pinched off into small droplets. This is mostly due to the effect of surface tension. The whole system can be described in terms of energy, with surface tension and inertial energy being in constant competition. The inertial energy is dependent on rho, the density, r, the column radius, and u, jet, jet stream velocity. The specific system's geometry depends on energy minimization. The liquid desires to be in a minimal state of energy. The energy state is dependent on the surface area. Since the surface area of droplets are smaller than the column, this energy state is lower and is therefore preferred. The instability is primarily defined by two factors, the critical length L-critical and the growth rate of the perturbations. The critical length tells us how long the stream will last before decomposing into droplets which can also be described as the critical time by dividing this by the jet speed. The growth rate tells us how quickly the instability arises, which is dependent on the wavelength of the disturbance. This relationship can be described by the dispersion relation. The importance of surface tension becomes clear when we're looking at the Young-Laplace equation. Delta P equals gamma nambla dot N. As the curvature of the surface increases, the pressure gradient increases as well. This means that the more the jet is pinched, the higher the pressure becomes. As a result, the liquid travels from high to low pressure areas, from troughs to peaks. The higher the surface tension is, the faster the droplets are formed, because the sharper the pressure gradient. The critical time can be thought of as a good indication of the competition between surface tension and inertial energy. Higher inertial energy makes the stream less susceptible to instabilities, while surface tension increases the susceptibility. A low critical time thus indicates a high surface tension compared to inertial energy, while a high critical time indicates a low surface tension compared to inertial energy. Using the Navier-Stokes and the Young-Laplace equations, we can determine the dispersion relation of the instability. From this, we can plot the growth rate in terms of wave number. It turns out that the maximum growth occurs when KR0 equals 0 0.697. At the peak of this graph, all other disturbances will be overshadowed by the perturbation with this wave number. As a result, a constant stream of droplets will form. In our experiment, we came closest to this peak at a perturbation frequency of 3500 kHz, as in this case, the stream of droplets is most consistent. With the use of a high-speed camera, we were able to look at what the effect of a speaker on a water jet is. Here we see the effect of a speaker being turned on on a small water jet. When the speaker is turned on, the critical length gets shorter. You can see this as the cutoff point of the droplets moves up. Here we see the effects of different frequencies on the water jet. Notice how the distance between the droplets becomes smaller as the frequency is turned up.